Let's see how we did. Understand, the nerves were completely severed. <laughs> huh. hmm. Not so bad. Live from the ale yards, it's a Junction City Christmas! Welcome to Junction City Wrestling. As you can see, I am once again by myself as my tardy co-host Jack Masters is missing. But in the meantime, let's throw... Wait a minute. Uh, what are you doing here? Mm -hmm. Do you know where Jack is? Mm -hmm. Anyways, folks, let's just see the unlikely Frank the Tank take on Freedom Wallace in uh, one of the better bouts this year. Really? Really? Oh, Frank the Tank, the equalizer. Association for the developmentally challenged. Don't say it. This Don't one's for it. you. Don't say it. You think you want to be a wrestler, boy? Even though we just destroyed those two drunk fools, looks like you're ready for a match. Whoa, cousin. Make sure he doesn't do anything crazy. To be fair, no, it does not look All right. like he's ready for a match. Whoa, hey, get in your corner. Ollie, get him in a corner. You're the official. You know what? I guess I got like 30 more seconds in me. All right, here we go. Frank the Tank has his own t-shirt on the way to the corner, ring. I still don't have my own t-shirt. Don't worry, the kid's more over than I am. Ref Ollie is looking so good right now, tremendously professional. Well, I, you want to explain to me what the hell I'm watching right now? Well, Frank the Tank, the equalizer, made his way down to the ringside. He had to advertise some t-shirts, so he's going to try to beat up Freedom here. Freedom's probably just going to pun kick him in the head, if I had to guess. And it's going to be over. Bradford's on the, uh, the ring apron there. Is this a handicap match? No, I don't think so, but Freedom just participated in a 25-30 minute crazy Extreme Rules match, a street fight, and now they're making them fight again? I don't know, is this sanctioned? What a maneuver there from Freedom Wallace, a tremendous athlete and competitor, really taking it to Frank the Tank. What a gentleman, truly, to allow Frank the Tank into the ring with him. He's doing this young man a service, and he's really putting him in his place, something that not nearly enough young men get in their lifetime. Get 
Freedom Wall is picking apart the bones of Frank the Tank. Meanwhile, Bradford on the outside looking very confused. Probably wants to eat off the bones of Frank the Tank. Ooh, Frank trying hard, valiantly. Not coming up effective though. Simply does not have enough skill to be facing Freedom Wallace. Freedom Wallace again taking the advantage, simply out maneuvering Frank the Tank, who's trying his hardest. His hardest simply not good enough. I like his gear though, very good choice. All black, singlet. Blends in with the ring mat, and he's laying down just like the mat as well. Freedom Wallace perching himself onto the second rope here. Off with their head finish. Oh! Usually Bradford Montague helps with the assistance on that one. Freedom Wallace missing the mark as Frank the Tank able to slumber out of his position. Beautiful shot there by Freedom Wallace, kicking Frank the Tank square in the head as he tries to put an armbar on the referee, completely against the rules. Montague showing moral support there as Freedom Wallace takes it to Frank the Tank. Beautiful technical wrestling here. Freedom Wallace, truly a master of his craft. Who's this guy? Jacqueline's Dave running his mouth. Just wait, wait. What? I have. Who is it? Come on. Spill it, Super Tramp. The British Brawl. This is not fair. This is not fair. This is not what we signed up for. Stop it. Brawler. Going unmitigated illegal attacks on different members of the Freedom family. Bradford Montague upside down and inside out onto the outside. Doesn't know where he is. Never knows what he does in the beginning. Holy Wallace unconscious on the outside now. I don't know who the hell you guys think you are. But McCray, get your ass in here so I can beat it up and send you back home where you belong. Back home? Where exactly is this guy from? Listen to that accent. Sounds Australian. We don't fight him if we get rid of him. Poor Schmuck Boston, listen to these people. Yeah. 
freedom. Come on now. Very good decision. Very good decision. You got this, Chris. You totally got this. Total crime. Crypto. For A, we'll never forget that B. Freeze. Freeze. Drop them. No one no, no one needs to know this. I said drop them! These are highly detailed plans for our next mission. I even got these two cops. Okay. Those two cops you told me about are here. They're coming for the girls you sent us. Crypto gave you to us. The assassins! I need to hear from the assassins! There's the girl! He's that wrong! You handle your end. I'll handle mine. Hi folks and welcome back to Junction City Wrestling. Thanks to my absentee co-host Jack Masters, I'm stuck here with a mostly mute Mongolian. <clears throat> Needless to say, our next bout makes up for it. Shacklin's Dave has found a final challenger to try to thwart the attempted takeover of the Aliards by that dastardly clan freedom of Bradford Montague and Freedom Wallace. It's the British brawler, Ad Hutchinson, but to get to freedom, he's going to have to go through Bradford. Gentlemen, not only clogged up my vocal tubes, but good lord, did he use a lot of cologne. Speaking of a lot of cologne, here is young British brawler, a man who has never used cologne in his life. And you can smell it from here, folks. Bradford Montague with a big time lockup. British Brawler cheating to take the advantage. Okay, now, come on, no reason for that. Shacklands Gabe got to get out of the camera view. Big moron there, British Brawler keeps hitting the ropes and running as hard as he can. It does not seem to be helping though. Both men now hitting the ropes, coming in, tackling center of the ring. Good Lord, you are looking at a couple of big beefy gentlemen here ready to fight. We got a waist lock here from British Brawler. He seems to be grabbing the tights. Quick roll up. Now why is Ollie not the referee here? I think that was a tactical mistake. They need to get him back in the ring immediately. The British Brawler throwing some big time forearms. Big Tex Carmichael has continuously taken away the advantages, the simple rules of the business here. It's, uh, it's absolutely pathetic that a man that claims to be of his caliber seems to be meddling with the referee's decisions. Brawler into the corner, missing his mark. Something he's very much used to. Cheap shot, sucker punch to Bradford Montague onto the outside. We see it here. Up and over. Brawler onto the apron. Coming across. Ooh. An absolutely disgusting shot into the side of Bradford Montague. I still haven't got a question or an answer as to where British Brawler is from. Ollie Wallace back down to ringside. Thank God, trying to restore some order here. Getting that referee out of the ring. He simply does not know what he's doing. Look at he's wearing full pants for Christ's sake. Get him out of there. Bradford Montague with a fantastic shot. British brawler. Big time strikes. Letting him know where he is. He is in Bradford's world right now. Welcome to Clan Freedom. Hear the orders being struck down there by Freedom Wallace. Thank God the full family is out there helping Bradford. 
telling exactly that big man what to do to get this mission accomplished. He's choking British Brawler on the middle rope now. Beautiful tactical decision, playing the referee's five count exactly where it needs to be, making sure to avoid disqualification. Try for Montague hooking him up, going for a vertical suplex. British Brawler blocking both attempts. We got a small package attempt, but Bradford Montague simply too strong, and there's the vertical suplex. Planning British Brawler dead center of the ring. Here we got a vertical press, only a two count says a competent referee, Tyler. If that was Ollie Wallace, this match would be done, and thankfully, these people could leave. British Brawler with an illegal attack appeared to be directly to the neck, though Bradford is grabbing his jaw. He probably doesn't understand where it hurts. Both men trading forearms now on the middle of the mat, not able to get above their knees. Big time strikes. Ooh. Ugly chop from British Brawler, digging into the chest. Bradford to his feet first, British Brawler up second, again throwing another chop. And there's one from Bradford, does not seem to affect Brawler. Oof. That seems to be hurting Bradford though. A couple of big time forearm strikes. Off the rope goes Brawler, in with another forearm. Bradford is dazed, luckily he barely feels it because it's only to his head. Bradford tries to duck but gets caught with the DDT. If Bradford was able to turn off, that might have been the moment. His brain might have hit the reset button. He is down on the mat. British Brawler seems to have taken everything out of him as well to get that move accomplished. You can hear the audience. They are chanting for Bradford, though they're mistaking it. It kind of sounds like Brawler. Brawler in the corner now coming in. Oof. Ugly strike deep. And firing off those strikes. That referee needs to get in there, get Brawler out immediately. That's a disqualification. This match is over. Bradford has already won. Simply despicable. Bias referee. He's referee's probably Australian too. Uranagi there from British Brawler. One, two. Only a two count. Thank the Lord. Freedom Wallace has a steel chair in his hand. Clearly in case Bradford needs to sit down. How thoughtful and considerate. Brawler gets caught up. Bradford grabbed the rope, dropped toe hold. Bradford able to keep his head from bouncing off the mat. Thankfully, what is this? Not a gut wrench. For a man the size of Bradford, British Brawler gut wrench suplex, my God. Oh, oh thank God. Bradford able to kick out at two. Even after the gut wrench, you gotta think of the intestinal fortitude of a man like Bradford Montague to be able to kick out after all easily 250 pounds gets slammed in a gut wrench like that. Now he has Bradford up on his shoulders. Bradford spinning, airplane spin, the hossicopter, if you will, and British Brawler is going rotating. Both men have to be dizzy and a big time slam. Brawler is down. Bradford going for the pin now. Only a two. My God. This referee really needs to go back to school and get all in there in the meantime. This match should be over. That's multiple times now. And what do we have here? Oh, are we gonna see it? Are we gonna see it finally? Bradford Montague going once again? No. The Hostin Crab attempting to be applied, but the British brawler continuously fighting against it, struggling towards the rope, will not allow Bradford Montague to grab the arms. There's a roll through. Bradford trapped in the ropes, up to his feet, clothesline from the British brawler. One back there from Bradford Montague. Both men getting tied up, my God. The sheer amount of physicality and body mass striking into each other from these two individuals. It's amazing that either man can get it on their feet, but they're not completely exhausted. Ooh, up on four. Um, Bradford, you gotta kick out. Bradford, you gotta kick out. No! This is simply despicable. Oh, thank God. Freedom Wallace now in, throwing forearms repeatedly. Freedom Wallace swung a chair, British Brawler, counter! Boss! 
Boss. British brawler. British brawler needs to be stopped. This is pathetic. He's choking out individuals. He's choking out innocent men. Oh, thank God. Thank God he's being restrained by the Freedom family. Oh, thank the Lord. For a second there, ladies and gentlemen, I was worried that my checks would no longer be able to be signed. Thankfully, enough security and referees have been brought into place to restrain the British brawler, this madman who seems to have a problem with people who are able to sign checks. Ladies and gentlemen, the entire Junction City wrestling roster is out in this ring to try and stop this breakdown between Freedom Wallace and British Brawler. Both men scrapping and clawing to try and get at each other. Oh my lord. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not how things should be happening. This should not be going on. Oh, thank God. Thank God we have separation. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what to tell you here. British Brawler stole this match, and now he's trying to hurt Freedom Wallace. This is pathetic. This man needs to be in jail. This audience should be ashamed of themselves for continuously trying to get British Brawler to continue this pathetic attempt. Freedom Wallace making his way to the backstage area absolutely where he should be, in safety and in custody away from this, this, this lunatic, this pathetic disgrace, this British brawler. Ladies and gentlemen, Junction City of Wrestling apologizes for the pathetic displays here by this British brawler and how Big Tex Carmichael can dare, can dare to condone these actions. Both these men will have hell and repercussions to pay for their beliefs and for their actions on this day. Junction City will not rest with this type of behavior. Hi, folks, and welcome back. What a match. It looks like it's going to be the British Brawler versus Freedom Wallace at the Destructor Rumble, January 27th, 2019. British Brawler. You want to fight me? I have no intention of fighting you. But I will wrestle you. I will wrestle you January 27th. The contract has been signed, sealed, and delivered. And Adam, only fools rush in. I may not be able to overpower you, but I can certainly outsmart you. And I have, because I knew you wouldn't read the fine print. And the fine print states that on January 27th, 2019, it will be Freedom Wallace versus Ad Hutchinson in a wrestling match. And in that wrestling match, when I embarrass you, when I pin your shoulders to the mat, or perhaps make you submit, in that wrestling match, there will be no closed fist punches to the head, especially my face. So there will be no brawling. There will be no British brawling. And when January 27th, 2019 comes around, my dreams will come true. But on that same day, your nightmare begins. Because it's going to be off with your head. What are you talking about? I got shoes, I got a shirt, I'm all set here. No pants, no entry. Do you have any idea who I am? No idea. My name is Jack Masters, my name is Pretty Ricky, I'm incredibly attractive, I belong here. I'm supposed to do a big old show. What kind of show? I'm doing a professional wrestling show, of course I'm here for that. What are you doing tonight? That was a really good Christmas special, you know? I, I, not a lot of vocalization by yourself, but I think otherwise we did really well. Hello, boys and girls. 
How are you today? Santa! Oh, 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 oh. Oh, Ed, have you been a good boy this year? Oh, Santa, I think you know I have. Oh, 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 oh. You know who hasn't? That British brawler. He took a heck of a whooping in that last matchup. Oh, 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 oh. But British Brawler, he seems like a really nice guy. What about that Freedom Wallace? Oh, Freedom Wallace, what an attractive, hard-working, good, athletic, professional wrestler. My lord, is he talented. Now, Santa, if you're the real Santa, oh, of course. how about Jack Masters? Is he on the naughty or the nice list? Well, well I mean, I mean, of course Jack Masters is on the nice list. Just look at his body. Wait a minute. Security! One, run! Masters!